Welcome to Mikindani. Karibu sana. Mikindani. Karibu Mikindani. Welcome to Nani and Karibu Sana. Radio, this is a charity organization that aim at assisting the young people getting the vocational training. For example, this hospitality uh, training, others can be uh, uh, sent to the driving course and other vocational that people can get. So, what are they doing uh, in Lili is, is, is something different. You cannot see in anywhere in this Tanzania that uh, uh, people can provide training to the people free in charge, three months, giving them a meal, assisting them in various ways. So what TradeAid is doing is a very, very, very good thing. So TradeAid has quite a few projects in the community. Mostly they, they center around the old bomb and, and this area in Mikindani. But there's a tree nursery project which was started right at the beginning of TradeAid where we take young saplings and deliver them to the local schools. But whilst we do that, we also teach them the importance of the environment they live in. We invite schools, local schools, from different places in Mikindani so that they can come. We tell them about the importance of environmental conservation so that they can be able to plant trees and uh, be able to improve the community of Mikindani through conservation. So to protect Mikindani's heritage and its conservation status, it's important that the environment is suitable, but also for the local people here, the plantations, the food and the produce um, they grow is very important. So teaching them at a young age how to grow the seeds, the importance of having the seeds, but also the importance of having trees for the local environment and to prevent flooding is crucial. So we deliver that and the kids love it. They come here, they celebrate every day, they're um, shouting, they're happy. <laughs> Other than that, we also have Livingston House Museum, which has just been finished in 2018. The Museum in the uh, Dr. Livingston House, it was um, a, a, a plan for trading area. They, they planned that uh, this area could be installed with the museum to, to restore or to, to to conserve the history of, of Mikindani. We've also restored several historic buildings, including the Customs House and Bank House, so that they're safe and ready for other generations. Because we see heritage as what can bring economic benefit and sustainable employment to Mikindani. Uh, quite a few things special about Mikindani. Uh, the first is the history of the place, uh, the, uh, the kind of uh, environment and the people around are very, very easy to get along with, very friendly and you would feel at home. They will make you feel at home anytime when you're speaking to them, when you're talking to them. It doesn't matter if it's your first time or it's your second time or you will, you will feel at home whenever you're in Mikindani and that's the greatest thing about the, uh, about the place. Uh, but the most important thing are the people. What is very special for me here in Mikindani is what Trade Aid and myself have been doing to the community of Mikindani. As you know, Trade Aid is a non-profit charity and it's been here supporting the community of Mikindani by restoring historical buildings and starting projects which benefit or create sustainable employment for the young people and other people in Mikindani. This has been very successful and I'm very proud, especially on the training program. Many people, more than 350 people, they've been benefiting with our training program and 95% of them, 95 of them, they've been assured, guaranteed their permanent job employment. 
around Mtwara and outside Mtwara. This is very, very special for me. My name is Hamza Mlapon. I come from Kindani village. I'm one student for Old Boma Hotel. Welcome, many, many people welcome for Tanzania and Old Boma Hotel to support me by people of Mkindani. Welcome, Kalib Sano. My job in Old Boma, I'm polo attendant. I'm enjoying my work because uh, I'm doing my responsibility. Uh, in the morning, I'm cleaning pool area and I'm cleaning the water and uh, I check the quality of water by testing kit and uh, I'm cleaning our environment around the pool area. Trade Aid is a child that has helped me uh, because I'm a trainee uh, among trainees of Trade Aid. Also, Trade Aid has helped me in Dani because uh, they like to take some many people to this training. Also, Trade Aid is support some people who have no ability to go to the school, so they help them. So Trade Aid is a good child. Before I was in the street there, working with my parents, assisting some farming activities. And then I heard that here at the Boma, there is hospitality training that the young people of Mekindani can get. Then I came to join uh, since 2015. And from there I was a trainee. Then later, I, after finishing the training, I got an opportunity to work at the receptionist. And then later, I was working as the duty manager. And uh, we had an English trainer who was called Madame Louise. And the, uh, the way she was teaching us, I was really like. And then later, her contract was finished. Then she suggested me to be uh, an English trainer after uh, leaving from here in Tanzania. Then from there, I was started to work as an uh, English trainer for just something like one year. Then later, uh, the management decided to give me an opportunity to work as hotel manager up to now. My ambition is to become good receptionist in biggest industry, in hospitality industry. Also, I would like to become a manager. Our staff have been getting jobs very easy and this is show how quality of our training program is. So many people have been coming to want take care of our trainees for work as well. So I'm very proud every moment. They did a lot to my life because before I didn't even had a dream that one day I can become a, a hotel manager or even I can stand here just speaking with uh, different people, meeting with them and discussing with different things. But for the moment I can say that uh, Traded UK uh, is a good thing, especially in our site here. My name is Omar Amis. I have 20 years old. I come from here, Mikindani. My name is Salom Musa. I have 25 old. I'm here in, at Mikindani. I work here in Odboma with Kazio. After that, I work in pool, pool, pool attendance. After that, now I work in is reception night manager. Before I will finish my O-level in 2013, yes. For high school, uh, I can say it's few marks that I am unable to go to high school. Trading helped me to join uh, up, uh, downstairs uh, the school, English school, and I joined here and I will get an uh, English course. Then I will do an interview to enter for more training for hotel training. Yes. That is help me, they signed me contract here and, and also they finding a work to the day somewhere. I can say thanks for trading. Trading is a charity organization, is has helped me. So I went to the driving course. 
today I'm going to Dar es Salaam. I have an interview tomorrow and Friday mm -hmm. to another hotel, Seacliff Court and Department Hotel. It is, that is located in Masaki. Yes, I'm going to do an interview on Friday. My name is Dietrich Yusuf and I live, I, I live at Mtuara Mikindani, Ligula over there. And uh, I'm 21 years old and I work at Keshnati Hotel as a receptionist. I'll get, I'll get more experience there about the hotel, but all from Old Boma Hotel. Yes, of course. And I, work, I, I, I was working there for six months. All activities that I need, I get from there. And all of that, they're just operating just free of charge, which most of the people who had even no dream before, now they can stand and say that, oh, I got this, I got this, and this one, and this one is because of Traded UK. So that is all I can say. And uh, from my side, I can say that uh, uh, a trade, trade UK, uh, I don't have even a, a good way to say rather than thanks to them because that's the only way that we have, but uh, really they did a lot to myself. Another thing that Tradehead has involved themselves is the gender empowerment program called GEP, whereby we try to encourage the uh, female youth of Mikindani in their education programs. My name is Fatima. I am 23 years old. I live as Mikindani. My name is Edna Adam. I'm 24 years old. I'm coming from Mikindani. My name is Victoria Peter. I come from Mikindani. I was born 1995. I'm 23 years old. I'm the receptionist at the Bomb Hotel. Trade Aid uh, commit by themselves to support the uh, ladies. I'm talking about the women, as according to our cultural and the customs of Tanzania or Africa in general, it's not easy to let women doing uh, a job that uh, men can do. So it's, it's a kind of the things that Trade Aid has come to make sure that they improve the gender equality. My first time when I come here, I tell my mother that I want to be a chef like you because my mother last years ago, she was a chef here. So yeah, yeah, something like that. And I told my mother that I want to be like you. And she told me, okay, you can go, but my dream since I was young, I want to, uh, to be a lawyer, a good lawyer. But things not be good, so I told my mom that I want to go to the old Boma and start. Yes. Here at Boma, I'm working as a supervisor, as an um, assistant manager. I like to work here at Boma because I have a more than one experience. I walk to the kitchen, I walk to the reception, I walk to the restaurant, I skipping as well. And also I used to train the trainees and I like to train them. I like it so much. It's me, it is the, the first job in Mikindani at the Dubom Hotel. Thank you to Daddy for helping me. I need a lot of time to be here, to learn a lot of things here in Old Boma because this is a training hotel. So when I be here, I will learn a lot, a lot of things here. And also, it is very nice to me, yes. Yes, my ambition is to be good at receptionist. It's another big hotel like Serena. Giving more opportunity to women than men because even in a hotel here where we work, uh, uh, a huge number of workers or staff, even trainees, are uh, women and not men. So this is a very, very good thing to trade to make sure that they push these ladies to work themselves, to make sure that they are not dependent to their husband when they get married. This is a very good thing to make sure that they prepare them for their all in life instead of depending from someone to assist them.
do you remember the uh, the guys in Mick and Danny who were going for jobs in Dart, Omari and Salem? They've they've gone for their interviews, and this week just heard right now that they um they got them, which is really great news for them. Um, yeah, there will obviously be a big culture shock moving to Dart from Mick and Danny. It's a much bigger city, much busier, but you know they'll handle it well. And it's also it's really great in terms of we can now take on more trainees. So we're just about to start the new intake, so it really shows how um, training works and the rotation of everybody getting more and more opportunities is really fantastic.